Hi, this is Cindy from Bless My Pixels, and I wanted to share with you my very first junk journal that I just finished. Um, it has a button spine, which I really enjoyed doing. Um, it has a cloth cover with a paper um, here on the front. And so without further delay, let's get inside and see what's in there. So this is my knockoff of a Tim Holtz die. Um, I made it myself and it has all of these little papers that you can um, write on and stick back in. Uh, you could also use it for photographs or, or anything like that. This is from an old dictionary. Um, they're just wonderful to use in a junk journal. I love the look of the paper that's naturally aged. This is a pocket, double pocket, that I stitched in. The best tip I have is to do all of your sewing on your signatures before you put them into your book. The other tip I have is if you want to round your corners, do that before you do your sewing. So that was a mistake I made. If you'll notice, most of my pages have rounded corners except some of the ones that I sewed before I started rounding corners. This is a printout that I did um, on my computer and my inkjet printer and I really like it. If you'd like to know more about that one, let me know. This is a piece of uh, cardstock craft paper. It's actually a card. You can see I rounded the corners. More of the uh, dictionary, some tea dyed paper. Mm. This is the center of this signature and I found um, the best, best book. It was falling apart and it was very old and it was the Handel's Messiah coral book all done and I started ripping it up and using it I used two sheets in this book and then I decided it's old enough I should copy it and make that available because it has all of the Bible verses the quotes coming out you know unto us a son is given you know all of those great he's a mighty counselor all our everlasting father Prince of Peace so I'm going to make that so that we can continue to use that. Then this is the center of my signature and I love putting the little dingly dingles on the, the signature and this is where I threaded my thread through that I put the buttons on with. So, and those could be moved around if you wanted for a bookmark or just something pretty. more pages, the last half of that other um, print. This one is the scrapbook paper and this is, this book is eight and a half by eleven which when it's opened eight and a half by eleven. So that's a tip if you're going to be making a journal pay attention, close attention to the size book that you get because eight and a half by 11 makes it work really well, really easily. And this is just the cutoff pieces because your scrapbook paper comes 12 by 12. So save all your bits and pieces. This sew in here, this piece was long and I folded it up. So we have a nice little pocket here and one back here. And I plan on doing something, I just don't know what yet, to this white as time goes by. This one, neat little pocket, the little tag, and this is, um, I used it in sewing. When you make Hong Kong seams when you sew, this is a seam binding tape, and it's just wonderful. It is so delicate and lightweight. Another page with a pocket. This one was not sewn. This is another print that I made on my computer. And another pocket over here. 
This is more of that seam binding. This is uh, just sewn on. So, true confessions. This signature, my second signature, got sewn in upside down. I could have taken it apart and redid it, but I had already sewn the buttons on and everything before I noticed. And so I'm going to make it work. This is just a little pop-up so that I could write on it and pop it back down. was going to be at the top. The biggest problem is here's my pockets here, and I'm um, going to have to defy gravity to make things stay in that, but I think I'll come up with something. The other thing that was a happy accident, I printed this on my printer too, and it got drips of water, and I loved what it did to the ink, and so I added more drips of water. This was the only other piece of that Handle Messiah book that I used. It's um, a tore up piece behind, and this was the front sheet in the book. And it's talking about other things that you can get in five volumes. Um, celebrated arias selected from operas by old and modern composers. <laughs> so um, the old is older and the modern is now old. So that's, that's the way that goes. Some more pages. My other upside down page. One more upside down page, and we're to the end. So this was my first walkthrough of my first junk journal. I hope you enjoyed it, and I plan on doing a lot of um, journal with me pages in the very near future. So until next time, this was Cindy from Bless My Pixels. Goodbye.